This sounds loose as all hell. and welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy that you wanted to join me today because today we are once again continuing the series of Giddy Mary shops in a normal grocery store but tries to do it zero waste. We're going to do that again. We have already done it three times and you can... That's what she said. <laughs> I have made three previous videos about this so if you want to see how I shop zero waste at Netto, Aldi and Superbrusen you can find them down below or here on my channel. Just search and you will find. Also, I don't know what I look like today. This is a kind of a editing heavy day, so I haven't really done anything to make sure that this face is okay. But I hope that you can deal. I am sure that you can. So let's just get right into the video. This is so big. <laughs> I'm scared. So what's first? Okay. So the first thing I want to do is that I want to go and see what they have greens, veggies and fruit wise because that's usually where I start and then we'll see if we can find something in bulk, something in glasses, something in aluminium or something in cardboard. I don't know, I smelled it. What are those? Well, it says that they are just regular potatoes but I mean, I have seen a sweet potato in my life and this sure as hell seems like a sweet potato. Oh, it says so right there. Oh, oh, oh. I'm an idiot. Am I the idiot? Cucumbo. These are from Spain. Okay. So, you know, not ideal, but plastic free. Then we have red pepper. I feel like the last two times we had cauliflower because there's usually always cauliflower but I, I don't really feel like we should get cauliflower again. I also don't really know what to do with it so we are making lunch by the way. <laughs> yeah, we had cauliflower twice. Yeah, right? twice. Yeah, no, not again. Battered both times I think because we're you know healthy vegan for our health. So we found tomatoes and as you can see there's a large baked bulk package free section so we're going to see if there's anything without any animal products in it but I feel like a lot of the bread is usually vegan and I could use a baguette and then we can make like bruschetta that could be something I so like it when they don't have the plastic gloves but they have like the little thongs instead tongs not <laughs> tongs <laughs> the little thongs the little thongs that tongue okay, to tongue 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 an, it's an enormous baguette okay Oh, it's warm. Do you have vegan butter at home? I do. Yes. But, but this is um, feel it. Ooh. Ooh. Girl. Ooh. What do you got there? A lime, and it's fair trade, um, which says something, but sadly not a lot. <laughs> um, but it, it is a wee bit better than just regular conventional limes. So uh, I'm gonna get one of these. But they also have mango, papaya, and. Uh, avocado which we are not going to get even though they are plastic free because I would rather minimize the amount of imported goods. So there are tons of stuff in glass and I like it when I can find applesauce in glass because I actually use this a lot in baking. Applesauce is a great substitute for eggs in baking so uh, pro tip I think I'm actually going to get this. Am I? No, no. What you got there? So Lidl actually has a line of vegan products now and it's actually a rather big line but unfortunately it's all wrapped in plastic so it's a no-go. But they have vegan tortellinis. Could you, could you hold it still so I can actually see what it is? I said vegan tortellinis but they're not actually tortellinis but it's vegan pastas with filling. Hmm. And this is with tomato and basil and then they have one with spinach as well. And it's nice. It's nice to see more vegan products but we need the vegan products to have less packaging. So we have some vegan ice creams that I haven't seen before. We have peanut butter and hazelnut and vanilla and forest fruits. That all sounds really, really good, honestly. That sounds good. But again, we're not getting that today. These are superhero nuggets. I just noticed that they are shaped like uh, sims and clowns and blooms. So, uh, that's... <laughs> and they say vegan food is weird. <laughs> we, also found, we also found pop tarts, but instead of cakes, it's um, chicken. Yeah, it, 
it's meat. Vegan food is not the weird food, you guys. This is this is this is this is not normal. Whenever you go for something in cardboard, if you want to make sure there's no plastic bag inside, give it the shake test. This sounds loose as all hell. This is my favorite sound in the world. So I feel like we have a lot of stuff and couscous could be really great. So we want to maybe making a couscous salad is a good idea. We are bringing the couscous. It is small, but it is here. We have bulk nuts and um, I think I want to get some simply just because they are here. So I have a small-ish canvas bag for purposes just like this. So which kind of nut would you like the best? Uh, I think pistachios. We should do pistachios. We'll do a little bit. I found oil in glass and this is also cold pressed, which is significantly healthier for you. And I only go for oils in a glass. They are sometimes a little bit more expensive, but then I also use less of it and I try to save it and only use it when I really need to. And apple cider vinegar, I use this in beauty products and in cooking and in my pancake recipe as well. This is great and also in glass and also not that expensive. I'm having a moment. I'm having an actual moment. Do they have gravies without flipping dairy in them? What the fuck is that fucking thing? What the fuck? <laughs> they have different kinds of spices and these seem to be without plastic. Yeah, there aren't a plastic bag inside. So here we have turmeric and cayenne pepper. We have thyme and black pepper. Oh, I actually need black pepper. So I'm going to get that. And they have oregano and paprika. Oh, this is great. And these are not expensive at all. And these containers are really, really great for bulk shopping later if you have that option. Um, so I'm going to get a couple of these, I feel like. So the black pepper and for today's dinner, paprika could be great as well. I have salt at home, I'm not going to buy salt, but salt in Denmark usually comes in cardboard boxes. So now you know, um, I'm not gonna get that. And then, Oregano would be great for this dish as well. And I'm actually also out of oregano at home. So two birds. Is that vegan? So you're feeding two birds with one scone. So here we have the different stuff that we ended up buying. We're going to make a couscous salad and some bruschetta. And I am hopeful it's going to be good. I also found this tea in a glass bottle and I'm kind of excited to try that. And then we have these for snacks and these for snacks as well, just apple snacks. And uh, I have the receipt, which I normally actually don't buy, but they print it either, either way, which I think is awful. Um, but this was actually kind of expensive in comparison to our other hauls, I feel like. And little is supposed to be rather cheap, but we ended up paying 165 Danish crowns. And I will just insert uh, some text about what that is in euros and pounds and dollars, because I cannot remember right now. Um, but rather expensive for the amount of food that we got, I feel like. Um, but the expensive foods were definitely the, the pistachios. These were 30 crowns and these were 10 crowns each, so 30 here as well. Um, so that's almost half already. <laughs> so I feel like that's where it went. Not wrong, but just expensive. So now we're going to make our lunch and I'll check in with you guys by then. So lunch is ready. I ended up using the lime on the bruschetta along with the oregano and a little bit of oil on the bottom. And then the tomatoes on top. And then we used the uh, sweet potato as some sort of like crumbly bits on top of the couscous salad. And I am hopeful this is going to taste good. It smells amazing, so I'm ready to eat. And with it, I'll have the tea. See if this is any good. The cool thing about these bottles are if you need a drinking bottle, you can actually just use this and fill it with tap water afterwards. Um, but this is also a part of the Danish return system. Oh, good gracious, this is good. As we all know. Cucumber as well. Cucumber. Do you like it? It's pretty damn good. These tiny little sweet. Potatoes are, are great. 
And making fun of me? Yes. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you liked it. I love watching these videos made by other people as well because it also gives me sort of inspiration that you don't have to live with a bolster in your backyard or near farmer's market. There's still stuff that we can do. And no matter where we are or who we are, there's still something we can do. And it's definitely not impossible. And that's what this video is just about. And that's what this series and this phenomenon, I guess, is about. I also recommend checking out some of the other people here on YouTube that has made similar videos. I know Blue Always and Maggie Olivia and Shell Bizzle has made videos like this as well. So definitely go and check those out too. This was it for me. I hope that you liked this video. If you did, leave it a thumbs up down below. And you can also leave me a comment and telling me which kind of store you would like to see me visit next. I live in Denmark, so obviously a lot of the stores that we have here you don't have anywhere else. But we also have stores, you know, like Aldi and uh, Little, I guess, as well, where you can find them different places. And I think that's cool. But um, thank you so much for watching and take really good care of yourselves. Until next time. Bye! Thank you so much for watching this video and also a special thank you to my Patreon supporters. You guys help me create green zero waste contents and I love you guys. You can find the links to my social media accounts down below and the link to my Patreon on this screen. Bye!